Praise the Lord. Thank you. Praise the Lord. I want to welcome you one more time to another segment of Dr. PJ Prophetic Word. I want to welcome you and tell you that I appreciate you being here this evening. I want to thank you for participating in these biblical studies and spiritual warfare prayers. This is about deliverance. This is about edifying the body of Jesus Christ. This is about boot camp and strengthening you. And, and, and so you can have a spiritual muscles and spiritual backbone. And I just want to pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus, touch each and every one of us, Father God, with your precious Holy Spirit power. Open up their spiritual eyes, their spiritual ears, and give them the power that you already has deposited for us Christians to utilize against the kingdom of darkness. Amen. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And we're going to move forward. Today, we're going to be teaching from Jeremiah, the 51 chapter. In this chapter, I'm going to be teaching about spiritual self-defense and offense. You are a battle axe and a weapon of warfare. You are an instrument of power of the Lord. And I want to commence in verse 1. And verse 1 we read, Bless your word, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon, and against them that dwell in the midst of them, that rise up against me, a destroying wind. Amen? And let us pause right there and break it down to you. First, you have to see what is Babylon spiritually. The meaning of Babylon spiritually mean is a state of confusion. Is a state of apostasy. Is a state of backsliding. Is a state of rebellion. But geographically, there is a location in ancient that was called Babylon, which is the capital was Mesopotamia. Today, that entire area is called by another name, which is Iraq. So it's not about the people that are there today but is also is a condition and a situation that we can see both physically naturally and spiritually pertaining to us as believers and pertaining to the state of our spirituality as believers that we are facing and we are living through the spiritual Babylon of the end time so that spiritual Babylon of the end time is a state of man is a spiritual state is a state of confusion is a state of I don't know why me you know this this is this is the, the question mark but God say in the midst thereof within this degradation and this pollution and this wickedness that we are facing in the condition that we are in this is what he promised in the midst of all this that is happening he will raise up a spirit remember when is a spirit He's going to raise up a spirit. I said the Lord said he's going to raise up a spirit. He's going to stir up the Holy Spirit. There's going to be a spiritual revival. In the situation. In the condition that we're in. There is a spiritual revival that is taking place right now. In Babylon. Right now. Around the world. And he say. Those who rising up against God Almighty. 
against his order against his only begotten son against his laws against his word against his people he will send a destroying wind now if you look at the wind the wind is invisible the wind go wherever it's going it don't ask you permission it blow to the north blow to the south blow to the east and blow to the west amen and you have to ident those are the identifiers that you must identify in the spiritual bottle amen now there are two types of wind you got the wind of God which is the Holy Spirit of God where God can give command in any situation the wind may be angels Holy Spirit it may be a holy fire it may be a holy pouring out of blessing but wherever that wind blows according to the word of God but there is another spiritual wind an evil wind of darkness that will blow from the enemy it will blow from the pit of hell it will blow from the marine kingdom it will blow from satanic altar so you have to be aware you have to have the wisdom and the understanding to be able to recognize what type of wind is blowing at you you ever heard the saying like some people just blow hot air and that's it they don't it don't weigh they gaslight you it doesn't weigh it's just like a sounding brass and a tingling symbol so i want to share this some scriptures with you amen so you can have an opening of your eyes and your spiritual mind and the word of god is quoted 113 times the word wind which is spirit and it says in Psalm 78 verse 26 he caused the east wind to blow in the heaven and by his power he brought in the south wind you see God has 100% dominion on all of this instrument of power the sun the moon the stars the sea the waters the river every instrument of power of God including us your temple your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit your hands your feet your eyes your mind your tongue is an instrument of power we, we study about Moses arm where Moses lift up his arms in the battle and they was getting so tired they had to sit him sit him down upon a rock and they had to put rocks under his armpit and each time his hands got tired they lose the battle and when he lifts up his hands this the spiritual instrument of power of almighty god they won that battle the staff that moses had in his hand that was an instrument of power that god gave him he threw it down in front of pharaoh and it turned into a serpent amen so the magician had two of the cobras come out and god instrument of power swallow them up i said the earth will open up and swallow them up every serpent of darkness trying to cross and pursue you on your way to throw you off the walk of god let the earth open up and swallow them up swallow them up oh lord swallow up every evil doer every serpent of darkness every evil wind that the enemy send in your dream or when you walk every cobweb that, that the enemy sin in the name of Jesus uh, destroy it oh Lord let the earth open up and swallow up these witches and warlocks in Jesus Christ's mighty name and we always seal it in the name that is given above all name Jesus Christ Almighty Emmanuel Yeshua as you learn how to war and pour in this battle amen 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 and as we continue I want to give you another verse about the wind God will command the wind to destroy your enemies the wind will blow over your enemies and they, they will be confused they will be blinded they don't know where you're coming or where you're going God will send the wind and scatter scatter your enemies into the pit of hell God will blow the wind on them it's, it's wind is powerful as we read the book of first king 
Kings 19 11 it reads and he saith, go forth and stand upon the mount before the Lord and behold the Lord passeth by and a great and strong wind rent the mountains and break in pieces the rocks before the Lord but the Lord was not in the wind and after the wind the earthquake but the Lord was not in the earthquake hallelujah thank you Lord so I'm giving you a picture of the Spirit of God, how He moves. So you can see that in the end time now, we've seen earthquakes, right? We've seen floods, huh? we've seen all these things them happening because of the wind in the battle. In the battle. And our prayer point is Jeremiah chapter 51. You are an instrument of power. You are God's battle axe in this war. Ezekiel 37 9. We read, Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind. Prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain that they may live bones to bones amen and that's the word of God but I want to bring you back let's go back to the book of Mark chapter 4 39 amen and it arose when they were saying Lord cure not that we perish Mark 4 39 say and it arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. That's why we sing, What manner of man is this who tells the wind to be calm, and the wind will stand still? Still, and who tells uh, command the rowing sea and tell the sea peace be still he will look on that hurricane I lived through a hurricane in Hawaii when I was younger and there was evacuating the whole area with my grandfather and all of us was running and I stood back and I say let me pray and I got on my knees and I knelt down and lift up my hands to heaven and I said peace be still I command the wind and the waters to go back the other side and they, they were saying that girl crazy peace be still peace be still it was coming but on the news they say the wind turned the other way and went to the other side it is your fate it is the it's the faith that you deposit the size of a mustard seed when you pray. I'm teaching you to pray. It's time for you to pray with your faith. The word of God says in this first part. See, I'm bringing you here because I want to elevate you to a higher ground. I'm bringing you here because I'm going to take you now one step higher. Let's go to James chapter 4 and we're going to read from the three first verses only. I'm reading from King James. From whence come wars and fightings among you? That's what God is saying to us. Come they not hence even from your loss that war in your members? Ye lust and have not. Ye kill and desire to have and cannot obtain ye fight and war yet ye have not because ye ask not verse 3 ye ask and receive not because ye ask amiss that ye may consume it upon your loss you see when you pray 
and you go into prayer there's different levels of prayer there is prayer and then there's prayers I miss me like as you boil the water you see that little steam that just come up and it disappear that's a miss but here you will learn how to pray and when you pray you will pray with fire holy spirit fire we will pray with fire the fire of god because god it is written god is a consuming fire so the holy spirit fire will go forth and break and cast down principalities powers rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places are you ready are you ready are you prepared are you prepared for what is coming are you prepared to war and pour in the spirit are you truly a believer are you truly a child of god see we members of the same body but everybody's not called see the foot cannot pick up the fart to eat hey and the eyes cannot hear amen so my office is to edify and deliver and to clean up see i'm a gutter cleaner and when i clean gutters i clean them good amen so we understand that god you use a destroying wind whether it be manifested in the natural and with the its instrument of power that the sea the tornado the hurricane the rain those are instruments of power of the almighty god but in verse 2 it says and will send unto babylon fanners that shall fan her and shall enter her land for in the day of trouble they shall be against her round about now spiritually you hear as a discipleship as a king and a priest in this vineyard in this terra firma we call earth so you are an ambassador you are a spiritual fanner to fan against the wind of evil mean the demonic world the demonic kingdom the spirit of darkness and the kingdom of darkness you will war and paw for your eternal life you got to fight see you've been bought with the price of the blood of a high priest but now you can't sit down in this end time because the beast system and the evil wind will carry you away so you gotta stand and the word of god say you must fight amen verse three against him that bend it let the usher bend his bow and against him that lifted himself up in his brigandine and you have to understand brigandine is a breastplate like the soldiers and the warriors put on and that breastplate is made out of steel and when they stick them with the with the with the with the archer and when they stab them it won't go through because it protects them so we have to keep on our breastplate of righteousness we got to keep our feet shut with the preparation of the gospel of peace we got to put on the element of salvation which is the word of god need to be inside of your head in order to ward off the evil voices and the evil demons and the wicked dreams in the name of jesus it said spear not her young men destroy ye utterly all her hosts in the name of jesus the queen of the sea the marine kingdom the great harlot of the end time we will pray and destroy in the name of jesus we will break down the spiritual barriers oh lord break it down break down the spiritual barrier then evil wicked gates of hell the gates of hell will not prevail and the word of god that come out of your mouth uh, like fire will devour every satanic possession in your life every generational curse uh, and if anyone any man any witch any warlock like try to tie you down and hold you down in any evil situation anyone that has manipulated your mind that has manipulated your, your your finances they have used you for ritual they have used you for evil sacrifice they have cast spells on you they have put curses on you and your children they have destroyed your marriage in the name of jesus
Jesus. I command the whirlwind of the Lord to begin to rain fire and brimstone upon the head. Rain it, O oh Lord. Rain loose it right now. Fire and brimstone begin to loose your power on top of the head of every satanic evil man or woman. Rain it down upon them. Rain it upon the wicked horse of the witches, upon the demons, upon the warlocks, and upon every evil satanic disciple of darkness in Jesus mighty name I pray so now we pray in the prayers with fire and this is the end of part one of the battle axe warriors you are a battle axe you are an instrument of power of almighty God God bless you God keep you to we meet again in the second part of these Bible studies and these spiritual warrior prayers. I'm teaching you how to pray a war, not a miss, but with fire. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Thank you for participating. Thank you for being here. Please subscribe and share to family members and friends. Thank you. God bless you. I defeat you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. I defeat you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. I defeat you, Satan, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.